Callisto one shots with lethality right now? That seems incorrect. Is that actually true though? Let's go find out. All ranks. What's Callista doing? Um, she is a stacker. So I guess I'll say this. You came in saying, hey, Callista no longer stacks. She's a lethality character and that's really lame and she one shots you. That seems to just not be true for the average Callista player. So I would mention that like, yeah, that would suck if she was a lethality champ. I think that would not be ideal for her because her whole gameplay is about attacking a lot. But that seems to be the case is she's still attacking a lot. So I don't really know where you get the impression that she's a lethality one shotter, but it just doesn't seem to be the case for the for the majority of players. Pros were playing her lethality a bit. If that's the case, it probably catches on and we'll probably have to do something about it. But the average player experience on Callista does not seem to have anything to do with one shotting with lethality. So at least for now, it seems like she's fine. Callista mains are mostly playing lethality. I just looked and that's just untrue. Echo in space. Um, I have a feeling that you are running into a a small subset of Callista players, which probably is a little echo chambery, but looking at what she's actually building, lethality is incredibly low presence on the chain. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure that the, the, the statement Callista mains build lethality are correct. I do agree with the statement though that if Callista's best build is lethality, that is a problem. If Callista's best build is lethality, we should definitely make changes to Callista to make her best build be like auto attacking but it just doesn't seem like that is the case. Look at this, Riot's failure with Callista. Highest early win rate is with Lethality, even though she's supposed to stack speed. That's just not true. I just looked at it, it's not true. So I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's incorrect. Now, sorry, um, there's one thing here. Sometimes people will go look at an item. Here, let's go take a look at Callista um, again. People will go look at an item and they'll say, whoa, did you know that Ghostblade has a 51% win rate um, and Blade of the Ruined King has a 50% win rate? Clearly this is better. Um, that is not the case. So item win rates are very misleading because item win rates, um, you have to account for things like counter matchups, frequency of play, things like that. So as an example, you would expect that items that are played less would have higher win rates because it means players are selecting them more often in the games that they make sense. So like, if Blade of the Rune King is 50% win rate, and the Lethality items are also 50% win rate, it doesn't really indicate much. You'd expect these to just be 52, 53 at a, at a baseline to be viable on her. And so, what this tells me to be like, hey, 20% of Emerald players are building Lethality. It's like, oh shit, okay, so Lethality might be viable on her. And I don't have a problem with that, by the way. I don't have a problem with Lethality being viable on Callista. I think it would be bad if Lethality was the number one thing for her to pick. I think that would be very bad. But like, if she has like a Lethality build that sometimes she goes and she one shots people with it, like that's not a problem. What I see by these item pick rates is telling me that she, there's probably a viable Lethality build that's worth picking sometimes. This also tells me that like, it's possible that in the future, she gets played more and more Lethality and we'll have to do something about it. But what I'm seeing from these pick rates right now is her best and de not her best, but her most popular build is Blade of the Rune King, which is an attack speed build. And on top of that, it seems to be very similarly, if not more viable to these other builds. So I would not make the conclusion that Callista is a Lethality character at this point in time. I would make the conclusion that Lethality is an option for her, but by no means the strongest or best thing you could be playing. And so like, if you're coming in and saying, I can't play attack speed Callista, she's just Lethality, I'd say, my response would be, buddy, you can play attack speed Callista. That is something you can do right now. And it seems to be pretty good. Um, and so that, that, that's my thought. Uh, I don't think she's a lethality character based on like what people are picking on her. Um, might change in the future. Like that 20% lethality pick rate might indicate that in a month or two, it's a 50% lethality pick rate. And a month or two after that, it's a 100% lethality pick rate. Very possible that's true. And if that's the case, we should react. We should be like, oh shit, she's without a champ. Let's fix that and change it. But I, I just don't really buy the statement or argument that lethality is the only good thing on her and that all the Callista mains are building lethality. Because when I look at those item pick rates, it's pretty clear to me that a large portion of Callista players are not building lethality and succeeding on her. That's the other important part is that they're succeeding on her. It would be different 
if like I looked at those things and like Ghost Blade was like 60% win rate, I'm being a little hyperbolic, but let's say we go in there and Ghost Blade has a 10% pick rate and a 60% pick and win rate. I'd be like, huh, actually Ghost Blade might be kind of bonkers and people just haven't caught on yet. We should maybe do something about that. Um, but right now it looks like there's a lot of Callista players who, by the way, definitely main her. There's a lot of Callista players out there right now who are building attack speed and winning and feeling good about it. Now, you could say Kosta as a champion might not feel good right now. I think I could buy that. That's because she's balanced around pro play and it always has been, right? So there's definitely, surely there's a lot of Kosta players out there who are like, I build attack speed and it feels bad. I can see that being a reasonable statement. Like, I build attack speed, it feels bad. But I don't think, looking at that data at least, that it's because lethality is OP or the thing you should be doing. It's probably more because Kosta just generally tends to feel a little under the weather in regards to solo queue because she's balanced for pro and the best players in the game. That's the thoughts. That's my Callista opinions. One thing I wanna really uh, caution you all, uh, caution you about is if you are on a subreddit or a discord about your character, there's something very important you need to know. That subreddit or discord is completely unrepresentative of the average player who plays that character. You need to know that, okay? So one of the things, one of the pitfalls that a lot of Redditors or Discord users will have is they'll go to their Briar mains Discord and they'll talk to all the other Briar mains in the Discord and they'll make conclusions that they all agree with, all hundred of them. And they'll be like, well, clearly everybody thinks this because we're the Briar mains and everybody in Briar mains says this and agrees with it. So clearly this is the case. You have to understand that that is completely non-representative, that Discord, that Reddit, whatever, of the average player who plays that character. Because the average player who plays that character is not on Discord, is not on Reddit, is not out there talking about the character. They're out there running it down in solo queue. Um, and so just remember that when you're on a mains Discord or subreddit, you are a very small subset of the player base. That doesn't mean your opinions are wrong, to be clear. It doesn't mean you can't have opinions and they can't, couldn't be right. It just means that like, you're a very small subsection that probably thinks in a very specific way. And that way you think might not be indicated by the average player of that character. I'll give, it, I'll give it a quick example here. Um, when I was reworking Morgana, I went to the Morgana main subreddit and I looked at what they were all saying there. And the number one thing I saw from the Morgana main subreddit like multiple times was we should increase Morgana's auto attack range. They're like, I really want to play Morgana more actively in lane. I want to like auto attack more. Um, the reason they were all saying this is because if you were on the Morgana main subreddit, you were probably a very invested and competitive Morgana player. Um, and so I actually tried in my rework to give her some auto attack power. I buffed her auto attack range. Uh, I gave her a passive that like let her suck soul out of you when you when you when she auto attacked you stuff like that. And it actually tested really well internally with like designers. It felt really good. Then we took it to Player Labs, where we got like a bunch of Morgana mains, like uh, average Morgana players. Not Morgana Redditors, but just average Morgana players. And we got them all to play it. And they universally hated the auto attack stuff. Because it turns out that the average Morgana player could care less about auto attacking. That's not why they're playing her. They're playing her because they want to throw cues, stun you for three years, and shield their allies from Black Shield, right? Like that's why the average Morgana player is playing her. But if you'd gone to the Morgana main subreddit, you would have gotten a completely different opinion. You would have gotten like, I'm playing Morgana and I really just want to auto attack and lane all the time because that's, it's like, well, no, that's just a very specific set of like highly invested, competitive minded Morgana players who are trying to think about how they could beat a Lulu in lane. Whereas like most Morgana players are just out there to throw cues and laugh at you when you get rooted, right? And so for them, they didn't want power in their auto attacks because that's not why they were playing at Morgana. And so it's basically an anecdote of just like, when you are in a small internet community, you should be very careful that uh, when you talk about a thing, you recognize that you aren't representative of everybody who plays that character. Doesn't mean you can't have opinions, doesn't mean your opinions can't be right, but just remember that like, if you're making statements like, everybody thinks this, I would like adjust that statement to Morgana mains on Reddit think this which is very different from all the Morgana players think this. It's a very different statement.